Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another example video. This is our 50th example. Congratulations, we are 50. Hell yes. Thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and we'll keep going strong. Um, but today, on this beautiful, beautiful day, we're going to create a pointer pointer dynamic array class. So the same thing as we did last video, but for uh, with a pointer pointer instead. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's make a class. Let's do them in int again. Int array. Okay. This time using a pointer pointer. Public. So of course we need the private and the public. Let's go ahead and do our capacity. Whoops. Int number of elements. And we need our pointer pointer array. Just like that. Int. And our destructor. And for deleting a pointer pointer array, what we're going to need to do is just what we have been doing before. We'll use number of elements through this. I, I won't use initialize, I think. Or actually, I will use initialize. You know what? I will. Because that's my way. It's a, it's a more tedious way, but it's my way. So I will do that. Delete. Or wait, I actually did that in the previous video. You know what I could do? I could in this video I could use the condensed version, the easier version, to to do this without initialize. And then one later I'll I'll do the initialize. But I've already done it in a, a few videos back. But that wasn't in a class though, just so you know. So you can go watch that if you haven't already. So uh this should keep us safe. This should keep us safe. Cap equals ten. How the how did I do that? How did I go up instead of down? I don't even know. Okay, number of elements array equal new int. I always do that. Int cap. So we have all our stuff here. Everything is here. Now we don't have to initialize this. So we're fine. Would expand. So we don't need an initialize. Let's just do our expand function. So to expand this array, we're going to have to double cap. We're going to have to make a temporary array. Cap. And the pointer here, of course. See, it takes care of you. It tells you when you do something wrong. Then we have to copy stuff. So we'll use number of elements. So uh, wait, array temporary i equals new int array position i. Just like that. That's how I like to do it. That is how I like to do it. To just copy and create a bunch of new things here, not to just straight up point to them. Um, which you could probably do as well. I just have to try that out later before I teach you something wrong. Um, then we have to delete the old array. For so it has copied everything. Yes. Elements. Delete array at position i, and then delete the actual array. And then say array equals temp array, just like that. So these are all the steps to to uh, make sure that we have a expanded array. It should be fine now. I'm pretty sure that's fine. And then in public we'll have a void add element and we'll have a get at as usual and we'll have a add get at and pop back. So just like that. Just like that. Oh, this is how it was. Oh, I did, I did the wrong thing in the previous video. Uh, it should be after the function header. You have to write const. So that's fine. And of course we need a... Actually, we can do it here. Get, uh, get size or size. Get size. Get size. There we go. And then 
const return number of elements. I know all about the const uh, reference thingy, but you know what? We'll skip that just because if, if you've seen my previous videos, you should know that uh, I use that mostly um, for bigger projects. But right now it's fine. It's no big deal. Um, let's see. So we have all this stuff. Expand. Let's start with add. Let's start with add. If number of elements is larger than the cap, then we'll expand. And then we will add something. So array at position number of elements, new integer element. And get at if index is less than zero or index is larger or equal to number of elements throw bounds end the line whoops whoops don't end the line exception and then we'll return array index and we will just dereference that because we want to access the actual integer inside there not the pointer's address, and then pop back is if number of elements is larger than zero. Here we'll actually just do number of elements minus minus. Uh, or actually, no, this is where it's important to delete because we want to free up space. Number of elements minus minus. Oh, what am I doing, dude? Delete. See, it's really early here. But I couldn't sleep because I have some uh, issues with my lower back and it really hurts. So I thought I'd make some videos to get over that. Delete array, number of elements, bam. So we're good. Get at, add, get size, int, and delete, expand. We're fine, guys and girls, we're fine. So let's make an int array, array, dot add, 10, and then dot get number ugh get size <clears throat> get size and then array get at i there we go I know I've been using end line again it's an old habit but this is better so so see if this works Yes, it did. It did work. It did work fine. It worked fine. Let me... Let me see something from our previous examples here. We might just need to take this as our main... Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. I just have to remember to do this. If you add this, this is a memory leak check. So we'll see if it, we get any memory leaks. Nope, we didn't get any memory leaks. If you want to know what a memory leaks, leak looks like, we can. I can show you that. If we remove this delete part here, we're going to have a bunch of stuff in the memory, and it's going to say here. This is what it says, dumping objects, normal block at something memory address, 4 bytes long, 40 bytes long, etc, etc. So as soon as you get that, you know that you messed up with a delete and a new somewhere. So uh, that's fine. Now let's just add a bunch of tens. Whoops. Just like that, to make it expand once. See if it expands properly. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Now... You want to print out the index as well, just like that, just to see what's going on. And we have 12, yes, so that means we expanded, and no memory leaks. So there you go, guys and girls, a pointer-pointer dynamic array within a class. Or a pointer-pointer dynamic array class, rather. So uh, I hope this helps you. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you can use this and, and keep practicing at this and you'll be really efficient within no time. It's just that we need to we need to use what do you call it? 
the remove function as well, which is really important. But we'll get to that uh, in, in a few videos. But thanks for watching again. Have a great day. And thank you for all the support. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.